Hi there, I'm Jamie Keat and welcome to 4 Tips for Google Docs. Use the menu on the right hand side to help navigate around this video. At any time, hit the home button to get back to this main screen. If you like what you see, please subscribe. In a previous video, I've talked about how to add comments to Google Docs. So very simply, you could be uh, making a comment on a certain section just by highlighting or moving your mouse uh, cursor to a point and then just hitting comments and comments again and you write away whatever you want as your comment. In this video, I just want to uh, quickly go over the view mode and under the view, if you go mode, when you open a Google Docs, what happens is that it opens in editing mode. You can change uh, this into a different mode. So editing uh, is just your normal typing mode. What you see is when you turn it on. But if I go into suggesting mode, this is a little different way to comment on somebody's work. So for instance, uh, if you're working in a collaborative group uh, and you want to make comments on certain areas or if you're marking a student's paper, you can make comments this way too. So this is how it would work. If I look at the second paragraph and I wanted uh, to tell the student uh, maybe they should take out then Jake, uh, all I have to do, so I'm just highlighting it and then deleting it, and but it didn't delete it, it just did the strike through and on the side they're going to get this, um, this suggestion that uh, maybe you should delete then Jake and at this point they have a choice that they can either hit the check mark or the X. Uh, so I'll give it, I'll just hit the check mark and you can see that it uh, deleted it from it. I'm just going to hit my back. If they hit the X, it just stays the original way. So it gives them the final choice what they choose uh, to do with it. So the last one is uh, if you're under, there was one more view and it's just under viewing and this is just for straight viewing. It doesn't allow you to do uh, any editing. So but the suggestion mode, different way to comment on um, if you're working together in a, in a group, making suggestions, or if you're even marking a student's paper. Image masking is a way to get away from your normal rectangular pictures. And it's very simple to do inside Google Docs. Let me show you how. So I'm going to insert a picture here that I have saved on my hard drive. But I'm not, instead of inserting image, I'm going to go to insert drawing. So once my drawing opens up here, I can insert an image into this by just clicking the little image here at the end. And I get the option again, take a snapshot. Uh, but in this case, I'm going to put choose uh, to upload here. And I'm just going to grab the pictures or the one picture of my twins here. Let this get uploaded here. It's about a three meg uh, file, so it takes a second or so. So once it's uploaded, what I can do now to mask it is beside the cropping tool, you can see it says image mask. If I drop down, I can choose different shapes. And uh, so for example, I'm going to choose, let's choose, well, I'll choose the heart one. So you can see that the, uh, the heart shape, it took the picture and put that inside the heart shape. So I'm just going to hit save and close here. Give it a second and you can see I have that inserted into my uh, Google document here. I can still change the size of it here. I can even go back and edit it still. So just by selecting it, hitting edit, uh, I can go back to it, make sure you select the picture again, go back to my mask image and I could even change it. Let's say this time I'm going to go to a circle or in this case it looks like an egg or oval. Uh, so I'm going to hit save and close and you can still see it can still change. So this is just a simple way if you want to get away from that rectangular picture all the time uh, to change up your Google Doc. This is called image masking. You've probably noticed that there's no simple click to turn your page into a columns format. So I'm just going to show you kind of a workaround uh, way without using tables. So uh, very easily, all you have to do is go up to your tables, insert, you know, if in this case I'm just going to use my uh, two columns in this one, I'm going to insert uh, cells like this. So I'm just going to uh, paste some uh, text in these uh, that I've copied already. And I'll just paste it again on this side. So uh, what you notice right away is, so it does have the columns format, but you can see there's the table. But at this point, all you have to do is uh, just go up to your table, table properties, and you have a couple different choices. You can hit uh, make it go to zero or choose your white background. I'm just going to hit zero and hit OK. 
and you notice right away you have columns showing. So this is just a little uh, trick to give you columns if you want your two column format on a Google Docs page. Don't forget about the optical character recognition or OCR that Google has built into it. So I'm just going to show you how to open up a PDF or a image inside Google Docs and have it convert over into text. So this is how you do it. So I'm inside my Google Drive right now and I'm just going to upload um, two different things. So I'm just going to go to New, File Upload, and just from my desktop here, I'm going to take a PDF uh, business letter that I have here. And I'm also going to upload a uh, image that I took with my uh, phone just a few moments ago of a book that I had. And I just cropped out a certain section. So I'm going to upload this. So I have here's my image and this is my PDF. All I have to do is to use the OCR is open up these documents inside Google Docs. And this is how I do it. So I'll start with the business letter one. If I right click on this one, all I have to go is open with. I'm going to select Google Docs and you'll see it won't just automatically open to Google Docs. It takes a few seconds to convert it. So what happens is the picture, here's the image that of the PDF is still inserted, but below it, you can see if I need to edit it now, I have all the text from, uh, from the image put into here down, even with the same color. There's a little bit of formatting that changed, but very easy uh, to quickly edit that uh, and note all the typing is exactly the same. So I could delete the picture and have an editing uh, uh, work that I could use. So I'm just going to close this one out and go to the image and just show you again. And clarity of the image makes a difference uh, with light levels and how, how good the image is uh, makes a difference on how well the um, OCR works. So let me open this again with my Google Docs. You can see it processes it. And then the image is going to be still there at the top of the Google Docs. And when this opens, it's thinking a little bit longer this time. Uh, so the image is here, but you can see below all the words uh, from the image are here. So I could quickly go through, change the font size, um, delete this image like this, and I have all the words with some some little editing to do. So that's how you use OCR inside Google Doc for Google Docs, or if you're using it in two different a different way, Google has it built in.